This is CBS 17 News. A man facing murder charges for the death of Wake County Deputy Ned Bird sat in front of a judge today while his attorneys argued for the release of phone data from that night. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Angela Taylor. And I'm Rod Carter. CBS 17's Lillian Donahue was in that courtroom today and joins us now live with the next steps in this case. L Lillian. Well, Arturo Martin Sotelo and his brother Alder are charged with the murder of Deputy Ned Byrd. And this afternoon, Arturo's attorney argued that they need phone data and location information to make their defense. Now, while no order has been made, the judge said the state has until the next court hearing on December 15th to figure out the best way to pass that information along. Deputy Ned Byrd was found shot to death back in August, and court data shows consistent contact between the brothers during a 24 hour period, as well as. Kings matching nearby the shooting scene on Battle Bridge Road. Defending attorney Jay Ferguson asked lead investigator Craig Shapcott multiple times for the exact location of Arturo's phone. During the shooting, Shapcott said that the information is being combed through by multiple different law enforcement agencies. Arturo and one of his, I believe one of his roommates were in the area earlier here in the night. They were on the uh, gas station video as well. I, I didn't hear any evidence from investigator shot off that puts my client at the actual scene. And a bond discussion did not happen today because of Arturo's lack of immigration information. Reporting in Raleigh, Lillian Donahue, CBS 17 News.